one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Oh, amazing! Hey, look! Oh. Whoa! That hippo was really swimming fast! Wait a minute. Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this. <gasps> it's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop. Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That oh, is incredible. Cool. That. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well... Surprisingly funky. <laughs> Thank you. What a surprising day. Hippos are surprising. And the polos are surprising. Speaking of us, I've got one more surprise for you. Ooh, I bet she's gonna sing. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that was surprising. <laughs> Why are they doing that? I think they're grooming each other. It's how they keep themselves clean. And keep their coats in good shape. They're on the move! Hey, they found water! You know, these horses seem to be taking care of themselves. They have plenty of food and know where to find water. They groom each other. And they take care of their young. Those are the things people do for domesticated animals. But these horses are doing it for themselves. I don't think they live on a farm. I think these horses are wild. I didn't think horses could be wild. I'm looking up step horses. Hey, look! Here they are, Chevalsky horses. These horses are wild. They've never been domesticated. Horsey, get me up! <gasps> oh, Nash, Nash, no! Horsey, get me up! Nash, stop! <sighs> Nash, why were you chasing that horse? Horsey, one, one. Nash, get me up! One, horsey. Huh? You want to ride the horse? Why does everybody understand Nash but me? Those horses are wild animals, Nash. And we never disturb animals in the wild. No giddy up. But that doesn't mean we can't run around ourselves. Yup, the step makes a perfect place to run wild. Whether you're a horse or a polo. Nay! Nay! Hey, Nash, horsey ride? <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> Plus, sloth sleep up to 20 hours a day. They sleep most of the day, and even when they are awake, they barely move. Is it just me, or is its fur kind of greenish? You're right, it is. I wonder why. Maybe the sloth moves so slowly that the green planty stuff can grow on it. <laughs> Plants? <laughs> Nothing's that slow. Actually, it says sloths are so slow moving that a tiny organism called algae grows on their fur. Algae are green. Fascinating. So that's why it looks green. What great camouflage. Well, I ran past it three times without seeing it. So it must be hard for predators to see them, too. Oh, for sure. Hawks hunt by sight, and so do jaguars. So, if sloths kind of blend into the rainforest and barely move or move really slowly, things that eat them can't see them. Being so slow, 
helps them survive. Oh, we've almost seen so many animals. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a three-toed sloth. <gasps> no way! Why didn't you tell us? We tried. Oh, oh wow. yeah! What an amazing animal! Cool! And we don't even need to run anywhere to see it. Where's it going? Oh, you're not going to believe this. Once a week, they climb down to the ground to go to the bathroom. They only go once a week? Being on the ground is really dangerous for them. They'd rather stay in the trees. Hey, let's have a sloth race. Whoever goes the slowest wins. Ready? Three, two, one. Slow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>